we're going to do a technique from, from, from upright, so from here, going from a jab. You can do this jab, cross jab. Sometimes I like to train it jab, cross jab. So you're getting used to the, the basic blocks and also multiple things coming at you. Um, or you can just train it with, with a block, with a, with a single strike. But for me, sometimes I like to train multiple things. So you're getting used to one little bit of pressure and also is your guard there, okay? And then if, uh, if it's there, then you can just go straight to the jab, block one, then your arm. Is like so, okay? 70%, not 100%, about 70%. And the fingers, you're opening your palm as much as you can and fingers back. If you do this, this part of the forearm sharpens up and also tenses up. And it's with that is you're looking to hit, okay? So it's not, it's not soft. I want that, yeah? I want that strong, I want that solid. And basically, you're hitting the head. Um, with this with this part of the forearm. So same thing again, you're going one, again, hit here, then hit across. Okay, so if you slow this down for a minute, you're going one. There's a hit there already, okay? If I hold on to this, potentially you've got a jarring of the elbow, yeah? Or, but be, be careful with it. So I'm just gonna go here. Then from here, look, this comes down. Yeah, so from the elbow, this comes down and this switches across, hitting the head, okay? if the if the arm is covered this way, you can still bring it down and change it into something else. Okay, but for now, so we're getting used to hitting parts of the body, the guard's not gonna be there, okay? So from here, again, one, two. Then from here, all you're doing, turning the hand and pull, okay? One more time, one, two. Then from here, turning the hand. As I pull, I'm stepping back, so I've got my whole weight involved in this. Okay, so as I pull, look, as you can see these postures, they already set you up in the next position. So me going back here, you've got either a knee, or me going back here, you've already got elbow to the side, yeah? But we're gonna continue it with a sweep. Bang, here, step, yeah, then from here, sweeping. Is that you right? Yeah. And again, one more time. One, two, here, step, sweep. Come down with her like so, where the hand, so with the arm, like goes across the thigh like so. If I'm standing up, this could slip away. So I want, I want to go with her, so I, catch, I captured this arm. And me going down as well, potentially has this. Yeah, so you got a strike in there as well. So I always teach the guys that, you know, perfect your postures because it's your postures that will protect you in the yard. And you just find naturally certain strikes and hits or she falls into you know, potential strikes like the, the elbows or the knees, okay? So from here, so watch that again from, from just up to this point. We'll slow it down. One, two, three. Four. So just think, look, so from here, look, I still have the arm. Okay, so from here now, you're gonna go, really, if I look at the, if you look at this motion, you're going into this position, what we call the cat stance, okay? For training purposes, bring your cat stance here. But really, as this comes down, the cat goes and can become a pin. And as I twist for this pin, this is naturally turning into potential dislocation on the shoulder. And as this opens up like so, yeah, you have this, multiple things are happening. This break, this pin, this open, where you can strike, strike, it's up to you. Okay, so from here, bang, then come up, turn. And then lastly, from here, you're gonna go into the same position, that cat stance, but this time you're gonna swivel like so, swivel in, and break from here, okay? Now, with this one, you can use it as a step in, but really, how, how I prefer to do things is that I use my whole body weight, so I jump, so with this one, it'd be more from here. So my whole weight is crushing down. So that when, when I get back up, if there was more than one opponent, yeah, he, she or he is out of the picture. 
he or she's got something to think about, and then I can deal either, either to run away or to deal with more than one opponent. So it's with that mentality that I want to do as much damage as I can, and so that it frees me up to do something else. Okay? And again, one, two, staying onto this side, so I'm covering myself as well. Three, four, sweep. I sink with her. Yeah, into this position, what we call kuda kuda. Then from here, look, as I get, as I have this nice and tight, so I don't want this arm, if she's trying to bring this back, I try to keep it with me. So as I have that, this turns for the pin, potential dislocation, hit if you want to, yeah? You don't have to do all those things, but yeah, it's the options there for you. Then from here, come up, turn. Then from here, same position, cat stance, swiveling this leg in, and as you drop, this would be popping on the elbow. You can turn, have the space, kick through if you want to.